In this example, we're looking at the same chemical equation we were for the last one, but this time we're asked to find how many hours are required for 75% of the cobalt complex to react. So if we're looking to find a specific time that goes with a specific concentration, still we're dealing with integrated rate law here. All right, so integrated rate law for the first order reaction, same as the last example, negative kT plus natural log of the initial concentration. Now here, we're being asked how many hours are required until 75% of the cobalt complex reacts. So what we need to plug in here is the actual concentration of the cobalt complex at our ending time. So if 75% reacts, 25% of the cobalt complex remains. All right, and if we, so if we start with an initial concentration of 0.1 molar, multiply that by 0.25, all right, and we get 0 0.025 molar, all right? So actually, I'm gonna, it's because the 25 was given, the 75 was given with two significant figures, I'm gonna cut that to two significant figures, all right? So, when point, we're going to start with an initial value of 0.1 molar. When 25% of that is left, that means we're going to have 0 0.025 molar. All right, so our final concentration, 0 0.025 molar. We have a rate constant, same as in the last problem, times time plus natural log of our initial concentration, 0 0.100 molar. So I'm going to rearrange this sum because what we're trying to get is time by itself, right? So I'm going to subtract this natural log of 0.1 from both sides. So I have natural log 0 0.015 minus natural log of 0 0.100 molar, and that's going to give me this one. And then I'm going to divide both sides by that rate constant. Okay, so time ends up being equal to the natural log, this one minus natural log of our initial concentration divided by negative 6.3 times 10 to the negative sixth. All right, when we do the math on this, I got 220,000 seconds. So this is the amount of time it takes for the reaction to be 75% complete. We want to know how many hours, so then it's just a quick conversion into hours. In one minute, there's 60 seconds, and in one hour, there's 60 minutes. So my answer here, seconds cancel seconds, minutes with minutes, and I ended up with 61 hours, all right? This was two sig figs, so I rounded this to two sig figs.